In 50 years of marriage, the thing I would say is, we've probably been through 25 seasons. You know, whether it's just being young and dumb and having little kids and, you know, ministry and all that kind of stuff. And I just think that marriage is constantly changing. It's a constantly moving target. Physically it is, as you get older, emotionally it is. You know, your family changes, the family dynamic changes. And so as, as it changes, you have to change. Hey friends, I am so excited about today's recording. We are live at the Exo Marriage Conference in Grapevine, Texas at Wonderful Fellowship Church. Just heard some powerful messages from Pastor Jimmy Evans and Pastor Ed and Lisa Young kicking it off so strong. We've got 4,000 people here live in the building and 265 churches around the world that are live simulcasting this event. And we're doing our first ever Naked Marriage live podcast recording yes. at XO. It's incredible. And Woo. I'm so excited. And we've got our dear friends with us is our very first guest. We're going to have multiple guests. Our very first ones, Chad and Tori Masters, who are part of the XO family. Hi there. Family. Yes. Honored. Guys. Love you guys. Oh we love gosh. you guys. We hey. love you guys. <laughs> we've actually been talking a lot even before we, you know, hit record on this. And we wish it was already recording. I know. We were like <sighs> it having, always happens We'll just like have that. to have you all back on and talk about all those things. Anytime. It's so good. But just can you, you know, you've already been on the podcast. Many of our, our people who listen and who watch know you guys and know Aww. you've had a big a year big life already. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us how yeah. things have been going? Yes, it really feels like a huge full circle moment for us because last year at the Exo Marriage Conference, we literally were sharing how we were struggling getting pregnant and what the Lord was teaching us through that. And then in between this conference in Dallas and Houston is yes. when we conceived and now we're back with our little baby Micah and it just feels like such a cool God moment and yes. like our hearts are so yeah. warm being here. I mean, it's really wild to see the redemption inside of that because yeah. we were doing a podcast with Brent. Yes. Uh, yes. Basically a That's year right. ago yesterday. Yeah. And what Brent didn't know is Tori started her period on the, the way day there. of. You told yeah. me. And yes. for us for trying that. for yes. so right. long, it really, you know, it's, it's, a, just, it's definitely uh, a sensitive topic, but yeah. to be surrounded by the XO team and everyone, yeah. they're praying for us, they're guiding us, everything. And literally just yeah. however many days later, I'll put it this way. There is the Exo Dallas, then there's Valentine's Day, then, then our there's anniversary. our anniversary. <laughs> and then there was this BLT at the hotel in, in Houston, Houston <laughs> that changed my life. I remember hearing about yeah. the BLT. Yeah, he told everyone about this BLT. <laughs> I don't yes. know what it was that did it. I'm gonna say it was God, but that BLT was awesome too. And all those things came together create yes. the perfect atmosphere for love. Yes, oh, yeah. for sure. Oh, love was in the air. Love yes. was in the air. And you yeah. guys conceived the cutest baby boy, I think. He I, th so I think he is. Yeah. I've, I've, I've ever seen, apart from Aww. ours, because you know you can't say anybody's cuter well, than your own kids and they're, they're great. Far and they're far from they're, babies, they're old now. Yeah. So I didn't <laughs> so say the cute. cutest baby because it's a tie. You've got the cutest baby boy. Our producer, Eric, Aww. and his wife, Michaela have the cutest baby girl. So cute. Those yes. two could grow up and get married. And, there we go. And create just like... The, the cutest family maybe. Yeah. It's ever I existed. love it. Arranged Just marriage. Exo family. But exactly. What are you guys learning though? I mean, you're, you, you've, you've had this huge transition. You've yes. had a, a new baby. It's an exciting time. But as, as we know, it can also be exhausting. It's so yeah. many yeah. things. So how yeah. is marriage looking different these days with the, with the yeah. little baby at home? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Tori and I will be the first to admit our faults and to talk about when things are hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Having a baby has probably been the most humbling thing we've ever done. Sanctifying. It's the most <laughs> sanctifying thing we've ever done. It's stretched us. And you have all these ideals where you're just like, oh no, I'm going to sleep train. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. It's like, uh, you, you don't know. You, you figure don't know it what out when you're do. in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there's been a lot of really difficult things, but also a lot of really good things too, mm -hmm. where I've got to see my wife be strong when I can't be. Mm -hmm. And that was always something that I think as a guy, I was afraid to be weak. I wanted to be strong for our family. But there is moments during her 36 hour labor and delivery that I had to remove myself because I didn't want her to see me yes. break. Right. And, um, and now there's been times where I'm losing my mind because he's not sleeping and she steps up. And I think our teamwork has yeah. gotten insurmountably better, but that's because we've chosen to be a team yeah. for baby Micah. Yeah. Yeah. I think a baby can divide you or bring you closer yeah. and we're actively fighting for him to bring us closer instead of push yeah. us apart. And you have to be so, so intentional good. about that too, because we've even had conversations where we're like, it can be so easy to just go co-parent mode and co-worker sure. mode sure. and forget like the intimacy and the marriage side of it. And I think it's really important for us to be like, no, we still need to be super lovey-dovey yeah. and like remember that 
we're married first yeah. and then we're parents, right? It, it, was, yeah. definitely, it was definitely eye-opening. I mean, we had to talk a week ago where we yeah. were like, we feel like roommates. Yeah. yeah. And that's not a healthy thing for a married couple. Yeah. And mm -hmm. we're seeing how children can impact your marriage, but we yeah. want to make sure that he's having a good impact. And Yes. You know. Yeah. Well. It is such a huge change. You know, we have four boys and we always say for us personally, going from zero to one was the hardest transition for us. And I yeah. know it's not always that way for people, but going mm -hmm. from one to two and two to three and three to four you're already was in like easier. parent mode. Yeah. Yes. Now yeah. granted, you know, once you're outnumbered, you're outnumbered, we're like, yeah. let's just throw another in the room. Yeah, let's, might as well. Why not? Yeah. Know? And um, so we love it, but no, going from zero to one, it was big. And I remember Jeez. one day yeah. Dave's mom showed up at our front door and this is like, I think Cooper might have been like one month old. I mean, he was really young. And she said, hey, I'm going to wash the baby for two hours. Go do something. Or yes. he might have been, even been a couple weeks. It was very early. Oh. And I was so excited. And Dave yeah. was so excited. Well, we go to Applebee's. You yeah. guys know Applebee's? Love okay. Applebee's. <laughs> so we went to no, Applebee's. I've never heard of it. Well, <laughs> hey, a lot of clothes. Like, ours close in our town. So, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. sad. And I loved it. Yeah. So we went to Applebee's. We had our, our, our date. And then, like, we're having so much fun. We're holding hands. And all of a sudden, I start sobbing uncontrollably. But like, you un missed him. Controllably. Oh. Well, I missed him. I, totally. Obviously, but that was Cooper. <laughs> I was sobbing because I said, listen, I know children are a blessing. We have prayed for this baby boy. I'm so excited yes. to have this baby boy. But I, I know that we're never going to be the same. Yeah. Like, I miss just Dave and Ashley. Yeah. And I felt Aww. guilty for even for thinking that. Yeah. And Dave's so, so sweet. He's looking at me like, Aww. I want to enjoy her date. She's over here sobbing. <laughs> you know, and he grabbed my hand. potato skins. I know he's I don't like, know I, don't, I don't know if I can eat my potato skins while you're crying out to me. So the you know? server walks up and be yeah. like, can I get you all some ranch? Or? No, I mean, seriously. No, I'm like, yeah. I'm like all like, yeah, mess coming running. down my yeah. face. Yeah. And anyway, he looks at me and he's like, Ashley. It will never be the same, but he's like, but That's this okay. is going to be the greatest adventure be ever yes. and even better. You yeah. know? Yes. And he's like, and I'm so grateful for the three and a half years we had together mm -hmm. pre-kids. Yes. Yeah. But he's like, but this is the rest of our yeah. life and how awesome. And he's like, but you know what? Your hormones are all over the place. Those he's postpartum like, hormones he's are like, so real. Yeah, no, they are. And so he's like, but we're going to get through this together. And, yes. you know, it was just a turning point because yeah. it is, it's just such a huge yeah. adjustment that really, yeah. like yeah. you were just saying, Tori, earlier, no one can totally prepare you. Prepare you. No, yeah. we honestly, I think that's why we say it's humbling and sanctifying because yeah. we have so many friends who are parents and we're just like, we got this, yeah. you know, yeah. like we are capable human beings. And then this little Two weeks eight later, pound baby comes we in the plane and we're like, what, what is, is happening? Yeah. <laughs> it's humbling, but you guys yes. are amazing and you, you're you it's going to be an amazing yeah. journey. We're yes. so excited. We're out of time, but tell folks where they can connect with you because you guys have so much great content you're putting out there. I do. And I want everybody who's listening to the Naked Marriage Podcast Aww. to know and love Chad and Tori Masters like we do. So tell That's folks right. where they can That's very kind. So, so you can, if you just search us on YouTube, Tori and Chad, we have a daily devotional podcast called Mornings with the Masters. That's wherever you get podcasts. It's on YouTube. Instagram so is Tori Masters, you know, Chad Masters. But we're just excited to connect with you guys. And, yeah. and honestly, whatever advice that they give you, take it because I'm going to share one more <laughs> thing if that's okay yeah sure you guys taught last year about different seasons of sex yeah, oh, yeah. I, you know it's you know there's yeah. a ton of people around us so it's funny to talk about it right yeah, now here we are there's but some seasons <laughs> I, I didn't see the value of it until we had a baby because i thought Things well changed. i want to feel it i want to feel it but yeah. whenever your life gets so busy res with other responsibilities you can't always just rely on your feelings to yeah. lead you you have to rely on your commitment to lead you yes right. and now we're now learning these things that you guys have taught about and everyone else at xr team has taught yeah. about and so, so we're good. learning to really have our commitment lead us, not our convenient lives. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that means so much that that. Yeah, it that, does. It means that, that we're all coming from you yeah, guys. It really, it really does. does. I, I, think we're in so the, I think we're in the beach chair season. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, it. every, every it. chair is fun in its own way. That's true. So, That's true. So enjoy <laughs> the season you're in. And, and guys, thanks so much for tuning in. We'll, we'll be back with some more mystery guests very soon. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome and back. If you can hear us, if you can hear these strange voices, yes. wherever you are in the lobby, wherever come upstairs. We're interviewing the... There we go. <laughs> Ed and Lisa Young. They're That's here. That's right. And we're sitting with the David oh, Ashley stop, Willis. Stop. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Yeah, we're so excited. You guys will be our guest Sunday at yes. Fellowship Church. The conference kind of continues. Oh. That's right. And Ashley Willis. We are honored. We, we, we really wait. are. We. I'm telling you, I've said this in, in behind the scenes, out on stage. We've loved and followed you guys from long before we met you in person. Long before. And you were yeah. impacting us through your ministry. And now to be friends and connected. We it's love just, it. It's surreal. And we're yes. so excited. It's, it goes the, both ways, for well, sure. Well, thank you. Thank yes. you, guys. I love so, it. So t tell us. T uh, what, what do they have up here for me? Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
we're talking about this partnership. I, I just feel like fellowship in XO is like this partnership made in heaven. Yes, and no doubt. So what, what have you? What has been your experience as we've all kind of become well, partners and friends these last few years? Well, up yeah. front, you know, we love Jimmy Evans. Yes. Karen, the entire family, Brent, Stephanie, every, everyone. They're just phenomenal people. They are. As I said today, what they are on the stage is, is who they are off the stage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. they've been a blessing yeah. to our lives, to Fellowship Church, and, and being able to do XO just to kind of surf in their wake has been amazing, not only for our mm -hmm. marriage, but for for marriages in our church as well. Yeah, I would so. say it's an easy partnership yeah. because yeah. the core values are so in sync. Sure. And yes, we Ed and I have taught on marriage for years, but it's almost like you know, we came, we were introduced to XO and XO is like the guru of gurus when right. it comes to marriage and seeing marriages restored, seeing marriages grow. And again, it's just an easy partnership. Our, yeah, church, our team loves working with I mean, because so goes the marriage, so goes the world. Right. And I just think this is a world changing opportunity. Now we, we feel Absolutely. that too. We get, we pinch ourselves every day that we just get to be part mm -hmm. part of it, part yes. of this team, part yes. of this family. And what well, what what are you guys learning in this season of marriage? Because you guys, like you just said, you have forty years. Yes. And what you've done as a couple, as a family, as a ministry, as church leaders in that time, I mean, it's been absolutely world changing. But you're just getting started. You know, it's like thank every, you, Dave. You, you yes, guys, you you're are just getting started. Uh -huh. You guys are just hitting your prime. And so, what are you learning in in this season of marriage and ministry? I would say celebrating each other's differences, mm -hmm. even in a more profound way. If I had to look back over the last couple of years, yeah, I would, I would, I would say that. I would echo yeah. that. I, I think out of the tragedy of losing yes. our daughter, or yes. I, I prefer to say of her graduating to heaven, mm -hmm. um, we had to really look at how we process pain, process grief, and yeah. then it kind of segued into, gosh, you know what? We process a lot of things different. Sure. And yeah. so even married for 40 That's years, you're still understanding differences. Yes. Yeah. And so I would say, I would echo what you're saying that now we're appreciating each other's difference more rather than thinking that our differences are wrong. If right. That, yeah. If that's, yeah. No, I totally get that. And, and grief, maybe more than anything, yes. kind of can show those those differences and distinctions. And a lot yeah. of couples that go through a tragic loss that's a great will point. Yeah. grieve differently in a way that it, it, it pushes them apart. But Absolutely. you guys have found a way to grieve exactly. differently and yet still come together and preserve the unity but it's in work. a beautiful way. Yeah. That's work. It doesn't yeah. come easy. It comes with communication, which, I mean, is that not a core value of marriage? Absolutely. But yeah. it's, it's, it's a critical component communicating our feelings, communicating our emotions, and actually just one day saying, you know what, this day has been rough for me, yeah. or I feel like I need to back off a little bit, and he can do the same, and, and so we communicate these things. That's huge. You, would you say that's like, I mean, obviously the Lord, you know, having, right. you know, leaning hard into your faith, obviously. I think grief require, you know, as Christians, yes. that it, we require doing that through grief more than any other time in our life. And yes. you know, it really kind of shows us kind of how deep our faith goes, exactly. you know, but I think you, would you say communication was kind of that thing, just keeping that open line that really got you through those early days, I especially. Wish, I would wish that we had learned the importance and value of that. Yeah. 40 years ago. Yeah. And I think sometimes Ed and I, especially we dated for six years, we were 15. So we yes. were like going out, Yeah, but we, assumed that we were going to know a lot about how to get along, how to talk, all these things. And that's why XO is so amazing because it gives you the handles on how to communicate well. Yes. It tells you these things. So for us, some of it is like we're just slow learners. But <laughs> <laughs> I know I am. No, Both hey, of us are. I think all of us can relate to that. It's, yeah. and it, if it's not communication in, in a lot of different areas in marriage. But yeah, you know, and I, and I love here you guys have been married 40 years. You speak on marriage, but you all are so teachable too. And you want to learn. Oh, yeah. Like you just yeah. see we, that humility in you of wanting to learn. And, and we have always looked up to you all, but that's how we always want to be too. Because yes. we know none of us arrives in marriage. That's true. And, and like you said, there's stuff that comes your way you never see like going through the, right. the grief of losing 
your precious yeah, daughter. Right. I mean, there's stuff that happens in our life. And so it's like, we're always on this journey of learning. And I just so clearly see that in you guys. I mean, you are experts on this and many other things, but I see your heart of, for learning Thank and, you. and growing. And that is something that and we want to be like you. We want to be up. like you. Yeah. Yes. We yes. do. So, That's so the, we are, Ed and Lisa Young are a gift not yes. only to XO, but to the, the body of Christ around the world. And I, if you're not already, connect with them. You can check out their Creative Marriage podcast. Uh, you can check out their many books. Yes. And if you uh, are in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and need a great church home, Fellowship Church is world class. Even if you don't live here, you can follow their sermons and teachings online. Um, I just loved your goldfish video from a couple weeks ago. Like you guys put just great, we watched great it several stuff, times. great we stuff. So, I loved it. We were, I There's was like, such, look at this. Such, <laughs> such great creative content. I love content. it. It was so good. So it's good. not just the creativity, but your authentic love for people and for Jesus is just absolutely infectious. And, and uh, thank you guys yes. for thank all Thank you, you guys thank you. as well. Y'all are amazing. You. We love you guys. Love you too. Those of you who are watching, listening, we have the legends themselves, Jimmy and Karen Evans, right here with us in our studio here at the EXO Marriage Conference in Grapevine, Texas. We are so excited, you guys. And Jimmy, we just heard your talk. Oh my goodness. I mean, so many takeaways, yeah. right, sweetie? Yeah, it's every time I, I hear you teach, I just think, like, I'll, I'll hear it and I'll say, like, I'm never going to hear a marriage talk better than that. And then I'll hear him the next time and I'm like, that's better than his last Well, one. wait a minute. Did, yeah. No, it was so, <laughs> so p profound. I think just in terms of the generational impact of what we yeah. do, it, it, yeah. that thought and the way you tie that thought biblically and practically through whether it's positive or negative, yeah. what we're doing and the ability to change, break those generational cycles. Well, you know, you, you saw at the end yeah. of that message and I asked people, you know, if, if this affects you, stand up. Yeah. You know, like the iniquities, everybody stood up. Yes. Yeah. I think there was like eight people that didn't stand up out of 3,000. Right. But it's, when we were in our 20s, we heard this message on iniquities. I think we were in our 20s. The inner vow message, I think, was later than that. It dramatically changed our lives. Yeah. yeah. We just realized how generationally affected we had been in a negative way. Right. Because you know, all of our families generationally were messed up people so <laughs> yeah and it, you know sometimes it's hard to admit that I think it can, like you said like you told people in the audience well if your parents are here don't necessarily raise your hand because yeah. it is delicate because you love your family yeah. even yeah. if it was totally oh, sure. messed yeah. up and sure. unhealthy um, but I think it is important as married people, you know, for us individually, but also as a married couple to get healthy in these areas yep, and absolutely. to recognize those strongholds we have in our life. And, mm -hmm. you know, Dave and I stood up, like when you asked, we stood up, like we recognize. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, that needs to be an ongoing conversation. Uh, Cause sometimes I feel like those issues and maybe you guys can speak more on this. Sometimes those issues can come up later mm -hmm. when maybe a certain situation happens. Absolutely. And all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, I made an intervow about this yeah. Yeah. and I didn't yeah. even realize it, mm -hmm. you know? And I just think it's so good to, to have that uh, kind of self-assessment, ask the Lord to reveal those blind spots. Yeah. It's so yeah. good. So you guys have been married for 50 years here in just a few months. You're going to celebrate. And you, so you must've gotten married at like one or two years old based on the way that you both. <laughs> she was. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you, Excuse you, me? You're, you're, it's, it, it's well, no, a that's beautiful. That's a compliment. Though. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Well, we grew up in Kentucky where that sort of thing is legal. So, you get the you know, we, yeah. <laughs> so we were we were both seven years old and first cousins. But that's a we are story. not related. He loves Gross. that joke. No, he we loves that joke, really. and I'm like, sweetie, we're please. Not really. But tell yeah. us what what are you learning in this season of of marriage? Coming up on half a century of, of married life, what are you learning about each other? About about marriage itself? Like, how are you? Because you you both are always seeming like you're just growing closer together through all the different changing seasons. What are you learning right now? Yeah. Um, actually, what I've been learning is you get tested through e every season of your life, yeah. whether it's marriage or work or ch kids growing or grandkids or, and, and so I think that, you know, always look at the life that you're going through and don't let it deter from what's happening in your marriage. And yeah, so sometimes you get so busy. I mean, there was a point where he had three jobs at, all at once yeah. and we were doing great. And then you get past some of that and you realize, I don't think we were doing so great <laughs> because right. we had been so busy giving to others that we forgot, yeah. you know, give back to us. Mm -hmm. And so I think you have to always just look like what you said, the roadblocks, the things that are coming up over and over. Because when you were just saying that about, you know, the iniquities, you know, as, as a mature, more, a more mature Christian, I'm not perfect. 
you know, you have the Holy Spirit and he so convinces us and convicts us and helps us yes. to walk through those things now that we're older. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, the enemy's still there. Mm -hmm. And Satan's still there trying to do anything he can. Doesn't matter how old you are, how long you've been married. He hates marriage. He hates yeah. us as Christians. Yes. And so you have to put your guard up. You have to remember, guard your heart, guard what's going around, and ask yourself, is this good for our marriage? Is are we doing good? Mm -hmm. And you know, like a couple of weeks ago we were having a fight and I was just like, I don't like him. I don't want to be married to him. <laughs> so much for fifty yeah. so much for fifty years. Yeah. <laughs> but we always come back to the love. Yeah, we always come back to what does God say? What have what have we been committed to all these years? Mm -hmm. And it, it's like we're we're normal like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Satan still yeah. attacks, Satan still does his thing. Yeah. And but we have the tools now. We have the, you know, growth. We have the so that's what helps us. Yeah, I love I, that. I think the thing that you guys do so well in is being vulnerable mm -hmm. and being honest. Because people can't relate to, you know, someone who's goody two shoes and never had any problems. Exactly. Well, in 50 years of marriage, the thing I would say is we've probably been through 25 seasons. You know, whether it's yeah. just being young and dumb and having little kids and, you know, ministry and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And I just think that marriage is constantly changing. It's a constantly moving target. Physically it is as you get older. Emotionally it is. Oh, yeah. You know, your family changes. The family dynamic changes. And so as, as it changes, you have to change. But, but the constant, what Karen was just saying is the constant is as it changes, we're going to, we're going to succeed in every season. We're yes. going to sure. apply yeah. the principles in this season that we applied back here that made this, yeah. you know, Sometimes it didn't make that season good. It just made it survivable. Right. Sure. You know, right. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. survived this season. Sometimes that's all you just, if we're that, going to hold that's on to. That's a like, win right there. Yeah. Yeah. We, we survived. No, but anyway, it's, marriage is wonderful. I mean, we, we have a great marriage. We have a great family. And we're very thankful for that. But, you know, we, Karen's mom is 94. My mom is 93. They wow. both live right here. And Karen really is our main caretaker. Yeah. You know, and we, it just, things things happen and you, you just wake up one day and you're in that season but life is good wow you, you guys are it, just man. uh you're heroes you really are i mean we you, you've been a gift to not only to us personally and to exo but to the to the family of god globally the impact that your family has made you know talk, you talked about that 1000 generation impact right. and i yeah. i wholeheartedly believe that the impact of your marriage, your ministry, is going to reach a thousand generations. Thank 100%. And, uh, Thank and you. Just, yeah. That's honored. how we feel about y'all. That's how oh, we feel about y'all. Seriously. Well, that means the world to us. <laughs> no, we, I'm telling you. We love you guys we so do. much. We love you too. Love you too. Yeah. Friends, you so if, you're, too. if you're not connected to, to Jimmy and Karen Evans, well, you are just because, you know, you're, you're watching this. <laughs> this is their ministry. The they're, whole they're, network. They're the founders everything. of this whole thing. <laughs> but the more you can learn from them, the better. Karen has a, a powerful book called From Pain to Paradise, kind of outlining those, those early years, the difficulties they faced and what she she learned uh, and what God taught them as they persevered through that and really got to that place of health. Yeah. Um, Jimmy's one of the most prolific authors on the planet and you can get uh, all his books at exomarriage.com slash store. He, we just interviewed Pastor Ed and Lisa Young. If you want a trip of a lifetime, Pastor Jimmy and Pastor Ed are going to be yeah. co-leading a trip to Israel this fall and uh, you can look that up. There's, there's still spots available. I guarantee you it will be a life-changing experience. Yeah. But, Pastor Jimmy, Karen, we love you guys. Thank, Thank you. For you. All we love you, too. Love you Thank too. you, guys. Very proud of y'all. Yeah, Thank very you. proud. Goodness. Thank you, guys.